The ring over Death Mountain. Wasn't it on fire when we came out of Temple of Time? Hmm. Maybe we should go check it out. What about Darunia? And the Gorons? Oh no. We have to go to Death Mountain. Ride! Ride like the wind, Deponai! Uh, what's in my eye? Uh, onward to Death Mountain. We need to check on our friends. And see what the problem is. <gasps> oh, boulders. Get that thing. Oh, what? <laughs> this thing's vulnerable to boulders. That's boulder dash. Can we blow this open? Weird looking wall. Can we do that? Yeah. Alright, hey. Another Skatula. More than meets my... More... More meat on my rye. Gold Skatula! Death Mountain! Adult Link! Hello, Boulder. <laughs> That's a nice Boulder. So last time, we freed Saria from the forest temple and the curse that was set upon her there. You don't see me going around hitting you, do you? I mean, I blow up these rocks every once in a while, and I assume they might be like brethren to the boulders, the boulder people. The boulder people of Death Mountain? I don't know. And like, the little rocks, um, they're always like, Daddy, when, I, when can I have a BB gun? And, and their dad's like, when you're bolder, son. When you're, when you're bolder. You're welcome. <laughs> so we freed Saria, and she has awoken as a sage. Um, and the sages will be needed in order to save Hyrule. And hopefully defeat Ganondorf from his destruction here. Who's this little guy? You. You. Hey, you. Get back here. What are you doing? I, I'm climbing a fence. I'm going to climb your fence. What's this kid want? What are you doing? Hey. Hey. Where'd he go? Oh, he's coming for me. I got him! I got him! How oh, can you do this to me? You, your Ganondorf's servant. Hear my name and tremble. I am Nook! Hero of the Gorons! But I'm Nook. Hero of the Kokiri. Hey, little fella. What do you... What do you, what do you got there? Oh. What? Your name is also Nook. Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero Nook. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me Nook after you because you're so brave. Oh man, that's so cool. It's a cool name. I really like it. <laughs> Way to make me feel better. <laughs> Nook, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it. To my friend, Nook of the Gorons. Oh, I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. My dad, Darudia, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. A dragon? If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> you better try to calm him down if we can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him? What do you want to ask him? Uh... Why don't we just... Let's just leave. <laughs> uh, let's ask about... The Gorons first. <laughs> Alright, bad choice. Let's uh, ask him about the dragon, I guess. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvania living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons using a huge hammer. The hero of the Gorons, boom, destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. If it's a myth, it's, I mean, you know. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. <laughs> wow, so his father, Darunia, the guy that we made, what, that we called brother, uh, is a descendant of a great hero, just like we are. Pretty cool. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia as a warning to those who might oppose him. 
Ganondorf is leaving, is going, whatever, both to feed them to Ravagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try and save everyone. Please help, Nook. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. Heat-resistant tunic? Oh, it's fiery red. It's awesome. I'm feeling so cool. Get it? Heat-resistant, feeling so cool. You got the Goron tunic. This heat-resistant tunic is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Going to hot place? No worries. Thanks for opening the doors, kid. Thanks for opening that half a centimeter thick door, kid. <laughs> oh, graphics. You're so... Graphical. What was that? I heard a thing. I heard a scritchy. There it is. Yeah, scritchy, what up? Old scritch. You know what they call the devil? Scritch? Alright, that's pause. I'm gonna get this schedule real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fairy, can you get that? Navi. 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 <gasps> yeah, I didn't think it was gonna hit it. Uh, that was Gold Cthulhu in the Goron Village. The Goron, um, not village. Goron, uh, Darunia. <gasps> Where could he be? Threepio. Come on, give me things. Yay, things. I mean, whatever. <sighs> Where could he be? I don't know. Whoa, do you see that? Check this out. Check his feet out. The wall ends. Is there a hallway behind him? I think this is a secret door. <gasps> Either I found something cool, or he's going to be real mad when he gets back. It's a doorway! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Nook, it's so hot in here. We can't stay here for long. My god, you're right. We've only got a minute and four seconds before we die. Die. Yeah, Red Link! Check it out. Um, so I had a question in the comments about, um, it was from Devin, she asked about, um, if this is the game where you wear different tunics. And it is. Um, but there's also other games where you wear different tunics as well. Link to the Past, you get different tunics. And, uh, I mean, Link Between Worlds, which is in the same realm as Link to the Past. But anyway, we're inside a volcano! Anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Not as, like, a, well, technically... Just like a trivia. There's your trivia. Can we get across this? <gasps> oh no. Can we, will this reach? It's gotta be over there. Look at how important everything looks over there. Perfect. We made it across. <gasps> I just hit my mic that hurt my finger. <laughs> Such a dupe. It is something that grows over time. A true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. Oh boy, another song? Sheik! You scared the crap out of me, first of all. Oh my lord. This is complicated. I don't know. This is actually one of my favorites. I, I, I like the Blair of Fire a lot. Sorry to play like a doof, but... Controller. <laughs> Sorry if I have to talk over the beautiful music, but I don't want to get it content ID'd. So, just chatting away, making some commentary on this music here. It's beautiful. If you didn't get to hear it, look it up on YouTube. I'm sure there's a video of it that's not, you know, that is is you, that you can watch without some doofus talking over. You have learned the blur of fire. 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 Look, I'll see you again. <gasps> and in a flash of flame. In a flavor flave. <laughs> She's gone. It's beautiful. I love it. Love it. It's great. It's so good. Who is she? Where'd she come from? I bet it's Impa, but she looks too small to be Impa. Hmm. He could be anybody. He could even be Impa. I don't know. Maybe it's us. Maybe it's us from the past. A different version of us. Grown up to become someone else. Ooh, a heart piece. Be right back. This time isn't accurate at all. 
try to stop for a couple minutes ahead of time. And we're back. Beautiful. Let's, uh, and we're back! So we're gonna enter what looks to be another temple. And Sheik was here, so there's obviously something important going on. Oh my, a giant hole. Be careful not to fall! <gasps> the teachings of the Deku Scrub did not come to our aid. That's some beautiful pixel art that was going on right there. Oh, wow. The Fire Temple. So, interesting trivia about the Fire Temple. Maybe maybe I should save interesting trivia for other times. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when to talk about things. I guess I just talk about it when I feel like it. I feel like it. So, interesting thing about the, the uh, Fire Temple is that it used to have a chant type of music in it. Uh, it's got a completely different soundtrack now than it did from the original uh, release, and it's not like they changed it for a Goron! A Goron! Friend! Please don't eat me! If you eat something like me, you'll get a stomach ache! You'll be sorry! I'm not gonna eat you! I'm not gonna eat you! Oh no, he, he's just terrified, he's frozen in fear! The original uh, version of the Fire Temple soundtrack, it wasn't changed for like the Nintendo Wii release, it wasn't changed for the 3DS release, it was... Huh, this looks odd, huh? Keeping you in suspense about what's going on here. Hmm. Oh, you stupid keys. You stupid keys. Keys de girl. There we go. That's what the bats are called, if you guys didn't know. They're, they're keys. So if I make a stupid uh, Little Mermaid reference again, that's why. So the reason that the music was changed, it was actually changed from the initial... Darunia! I'm never going to be able to tell this story. Who's there? Is that you, Nook? Oh, it really is, Nook. You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now there's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He has revived the evil, ancient dragon for Rhyr. On top of that, he's going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races that might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all the Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. I will go on ahead to try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer. But I have no choice. Look, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother while I'm trying to deal with this dragon. Please save my people. The prisoner's cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Nook. There he goes. Off to fight an ancient mythological dragon. By himself without the ancient hero's weapon. Remember that the weapon was a legendary hammer that they all keep speaking about. Ha <laughs> Precariously perched upon these pillars of piety. Not piety. What's this? Oh, hey! Switches open gates. Gates. Guides. Oh, you don't really see me. Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. In order to get into the room where Darunia went, you have to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Find a path that leads to a room above the ceiling right away. Helpful. Helpful hints from the Gorians. Oh, I see. There's a giant pillar hanging from the ceiling. So, the soundtrack was not changed for, like, a newer release of the game. Um, it was merely changed from the first release on N64. Da -da -da -da, Smokey, you'll never know what I'm trying to say. But then there was a second edition that was released, uh, and the music of the Fire Temple had changed. And the reason that was is because the original music of the Fire Temple... Uh, sounded very, very close to an Islamic chant. And there were people that were kind of up in arms about the uh, the chant being like racist or being stolen. And there was a lot of, like, real big concern and, and a, a big big thing about it. It was, it was a big deal. Um, so Nintendo went back and changed the music for... We've already got two fairies. I don't need another fairy. Um... You, they went back and they changed. Give me the. Give, thank you. Uh, 
Um, wait, how did Darunia get into the door of the boss room without the boss key? Or did he have the boss key? If he's got the boss key, then the boss key's locked behind the boss door, which I need the boss key to open. Oh boy, there we go. So, anyway, yeah, it used to be like this. Uh, it, it sounded very similar to an Islamic chant. I don't think they ever said, like, it was taken straight from it, but it is incredibly similar, and it, it makes sense why people thought it was that way. So, uh, they did a second release of the game, like a second edition, and if you have one of those original edition cartridges, I want it, first of all. <laughs> like, please let me know if you have a first edition cartridge, because I really, really want a copy of it. I thought I found a copy one time, and I about peed myself, because the label was different, it, it looked like a, an older label, and also, like, just the design of it was very different from the other labels. So we got a Song of Time block up there. Um, I'm not going to mess with it right now. We'll get back to it. So, uh, yeah, I, I really want to get my hands on one of those first edition cartridges and just have it. Like, you know, I, I don't really plan on playing the crap out of it, but I, I would play to the Fire Temple and then just save it there, probably. <laughs> Are you raising me? Am I free to go? Here's a secret for saving me. A wall that you can destroy with the Goron special crap, uh-huh, will sound different than a regular wall if you hit it with your sword. Hmm. Hmm. It's-a me, Mario. It's a very interesting, helpful hint. Thank you, Goron. Sorry. Uh... You've got small key! This will open a locked door. Alright, okay, so that's... That's normal wall noise. No, I'm not going to be hitting every wall. I'm just testing it out. Like, get get that noise in your head, because we might use that. We might just use that in the future. So, we do have a Song of Time block above us. This room is gigantic. Ah, I love the Fire Temple so much, because it's like... Somebody came in here and built this. Like, this was supposed to be like a... a you know, like a... A religious temple, you know, they came here to worship like the old god Mulbagia. Whoops. So hard to get my finger straight. Uh, so they, you know, they would worship the old god Mulbagia, or they would, um, do whatever Gorns do. <laughs> to be really, like, uh, non informative about it. But, uh, yeah, so it, it's just really interesting, I think, to... <gasps> the tiles are flying at us! I just think it's interesting that somebody actually came into a volcano and started building, but, I mean, the Gorons feed on rocks. This this right here, the, the tiles flying at you, is something that I believe started in Link to the Past. I don't think it began in the original Zelda. Gold Skultula! And also an undulating mass. Hey, undulating mass. What are... Uh, 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 get away, get away, get away! Oh my gosh. What is it? Like-like. Like-like what? Stop stuttering. An enemy that eats shields and certain clothes. Beat it quickly and get your gear back. So if it swallows me... <laughs> big... Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no! <laughs> Alright, let's just do the bow. Oh no. <gasps> he caught me! Oh no! He's gonna eat my stuff! He's gonna eat my stuff! Get out! <gasps> My shield and my tunic are gone. That means we're gonna, we're just gonna straight up die. Okay, we gotta get it back. Get it back. Give me back my stuff. Stab it. Oh my god, it ate me again. Please don't eat my sword. I'm coming for you, Skatula. I'll get you someday, man. Okay, I'm locked on and cannot. There we go. Okay, here we are. And freeze it with a hook shot. It stunned him. It didn't hurt him. It didn't do a thing. There we go. Eat it. Please tell me you didn't digest those. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. My tunic and my shield are safe. Whew. It was close. I like like likes. They're annoying when you run into them. And I, I can't, you know, I wanted to show you guys what they did. Um, but there's a monster from old... Back in my day when I was playing Dungeons and Dragons, there's a monster. Gold Skatula! Fire Temple. Uh that is called the rust monster and the rust monster would try to devour your weapons and if it touched your weapons it would rust them and then it, it could you know possibly break them and you'd have to get it repaired before you went out adventuring again it's a 
very hefty cost to be fighting a monster. Oh, it's a fiery skull. It's a fiery skull. Get away with me. Fiery skull. Oh, boy. All right, so we're going to go to the tile. Looks like we got a door across the room. We've also got a door right here. It's locked. We did just get a key. That's lava. That's lava. That didn't hurt me because of my fire tunic. Oh, it's a key. No! <sighs> but somehow the fire keys hurts me. But lava ain't no thing, but chicken wine, Barbara. I'm gonna go over here, check out this left door. Dang it, I'm gonna hit again. Stop it, you joik. You joik. Yeah. Yeah! And now we're gonna go through. Oh, that's not a door. Sounds weird. And we'll go through this door in the next episode of Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Nook from Nook and Cranny Gaming. If you like the episode, like the episode, and leave me a comment below. I appreciate it very much. And I will see you on the next episode.